Hey guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will, and in today's video, I'll be breaking down my personal process on how I would design a cover. This won't be my best work, nor a tutorial, it will just be helping you guys understand the basics of making a cover and the principles I follow. Now, this topic is very subjective because covers can be anything, however, as an artist, this is my viewpoint of cover arts and I hope that's respected as I would respect your views on covers. The setup for this document is 3000 by 3000, which is the standard in the industry of a DPI of 300. Now let's get started. The cover I'm making is a concept for Dave and his new single Titanium. Like always, I have no idea on what I am doing, just basing the whole design off the name. It gives me like a war type vision, something hardcore, and I pro tip when designing a cover, ask the client for the song or even part of the song because it helps strongly when designing or choosing a design for a cover. First basic understanding is size and shape. Now I always get this wrong myself but I am trying to get better at this. Just like when you're drawing, a perspective will change the size and shape of an object and getting that right is necessary on how your final cover will look. Make sure the object you place um, in the focal point looks natural and sometimes clients will send you photos at weird angles. Ask them to retake the photo. If they can't do that for some unknown reason, suggest an idea around the photo they sent you rather than trying to put the main object in a new environment that looks totally unnatural because people will tell and it does look bad. Secondly is understanding light. Where are your shadows, highlights, sunspots and glares? If you want to make the cover look realistic, understanding light is key. Personally, if it's just a concept, I don't mind too much about the shadows and everything. I just hand draw most of the shadows because it's easier and it does the job. But if it's for a client cover, take your time and do this right because it does create a cool effect and it does add an extra element to your cover showing your professionalism over other designers. point is focal points. I see a lot of covers with too much going on, like 50 brushes, 6 fonts, a ripped paper effect, fire in the back, those annoying plastic overlays everyone uses. Now all those elements are cool, but if you mash them all together, the cover is just going to look like too much. Now if your client base likes that type of artwork, by all means continue on what you're doing and I have no right by asking you to stop doing that because it's working for you. But if you don't have a focal point to relate back to the story the artist is trying to tell with the song, just rethink and ask yourself, do you need this fifth plastic overlay everyone is using? Or could you turn it down a little bit and make the focal point stand out a little bit more?
There are people who do covers for $10,000 and people who do covers for $30. At the end of the day, you're bringing something to the table. Whether how you price it doesn't really matter. You gotta understand your client base. I saw a post earlier saying how to price your cover art. Like, and it had some key points in it, but they're not understanding who the client base is. You can't just go out and charge your local artist $10,000 because they don't have the budget for it. But if you understand your market, you're a lot more likely to get more clients and dominate that market rather than setting prices that don't make sense. So understand your client base and then price it by understanding your client base because that's going to make a lot of sense for business. And that's going to make a lot of sense for you once you start getting those clients repetitively. And then you can start upcharging once you understand your skill sets and what you can bring to the table and if it's bringing value to your customers. Last point I have is colors. Now for this cover, I didn't like how it looked. I was playing with the colors too much. Then I remembered I'm reflecting war. So then I use the color orange and red because when you watch those war movies, when there's fires, the color LUTs are orange and red and that's the color theme. So I just went with that and I used the ashes to tie those effects with the color because it helps bring everything back together. Base your colors off the idea that you had and help and use that to help bring everything together because it makes a lot of sense like you wouldn't put a tropical cover and put it on fire actually i've done that so i can't i can't tell you not to do that anyway all i'm just saying is use your colors to your advantage and use them properly um i can't tell you which way to use them properly because it depends on the person like i said art is subjective and cover art is a type of art
I just want to say thank you very much for all the love and support I've been getting on this channel. I've hit 200 subscribers and it's growing every single day. Like every single day I'm getting like five to three subscribers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for me that's a lot. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. And I know this video isn't a tutorial and if you made it to the end, I do have a coupon going on on my website. Just use the code YT200 to get 20% off all the assets on my website that are paid. If you guys haven't checked them out, they do help a lot when you are making covers because I am a cover art designer. Originally I was, but I want to move into merch. That'll be for another video. But yet again, just want to say thank you and hit the like button if you haven't. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And if you have, I hope you guys have a wonderful night or a wonderful day depending on where you are in the country. Wilson signing out. I hope you guys like this cover for Dave. Thank you.